Hello everybody, my name is ArashiYT, your coach of the Groningen Noctiles, bringing you the draft analysis for the BBL Season 3. I'm very happy to be back in the BBL. Last season we had a very rough season. I drafted a team that really didn't fit my playstyle. So this season I drafted a team that, in my honest opinion, fits myself more as a player. And I'm really thankful that I'm back here. Uh, there's a lot of uh, coaches in the VVL Season 3 that I really would like to face off against. We have some old familiar faces from the BBL from last season. So I expect this season to be amazing. For you guys who don't know, BBL is in Hubris League. So Hubris Mon are allowed in this competition. And you can draft like two Hubris who are like okay or you can draft like one big uber and then you have less points to spare for the rest of your team so i drafted a team of 10 pokemon i think you can draft like around the 10 to 12 pokemon and me myself i really like a smaller team because it gives myself like more possibilities to draft pokemon that i really like and that fits my playstyle. so i really like smaller teams than like draft 12 months in a um team but then like two of those months you know i don't really feel comfortable with using so i drafted a team that i'm really happy with a lot of months that i haven't used in the past that i really wanted to use this season and also a lot of months that i have used in the past and want to continue on using them because they're so good and they really fit me again as a coach so i Hope I can get this draft analysis done very quickly and also make this draft analysis not too long because uh, the last one that I did for the LBC which went up yesterday and if you haven't watched that one already go check it out because that's also a very hyped league to be part of but I really want this draft analysis to be like around the 20 minutes. If it's a little bit over the 20 minutes that's okay but I'm just going to dive in right away with my team and if you're hyped for the new season of the BBLs season 3 of the BBL don't forget to hit the like button comment share this video with others slash the subscribe button down below and hit, bell, and hit that bell icon because then you get notified every time I upload a new video and that is sincerely appreciated and let me guys know what your favorite mon of the Pokemon that I drafted uh, for this season but let's go on and start out right away it's already on the screen so it's a little bit spoiled but my uber for this season is going to be eveltal now last season i drafted lugia because i really wanted to use lugia uh, because it's one of my favorite legendaries this season it's kind of the same but it's also a pokemon that really fits my playstyle more lugia is more of the defensive uh variant whereas eveltal is like offensive i mean just look at that attack and special attack i can run a physical attacking eveltal or i can run like a special attacking uh, eveltal uh, speed of 99 which is not that bad as well i can slap like a choice scarf on it and it will like run through a lot of the opponent's teams but expect like a lot of you know offense on eveltal this season because eveltal is like a very offensive uberman to use and of course a dark typing is very important in a uh, in a draft league team so having a uh, dark type right away uh, and dark type is also a very offensive uh, type in Pokemon so you know having a good dark type right away from the start I was like yes we need to have Eveltal in the team and this uh, draft is by the way on the um, order that I drafted them so it's not like based on tiers this, uh, how I'm going to do it in this draft analysis video, it's pure what I drafted in that order. So Eveltal was the first Pokemon that I drafted because I really wanted a um, Uberman that's a little bit more offensive than the Lugia that I used last season. So we're going to nickname uh, Eveltal Wyatt after Bray Wyatt because once Eveltal is on the field, you better let him in and he will wreck some shit. So next up for my team in the uh, BBL Season 3, it's my Mega, it's Mega Scissor. Uh, Mega Scissor, again, very offensive, uh, very, very offensive uh, Pokemon. Um, 150 attack, it's absolutely crazy, but uh, in return you get a Pokemon that's really, really not that fast. And defensive wise it's okay but the speed it's going to be a problem and 
I'm gonna be straight up honest with you guys right away. The whole team that I drafted, like every Pokemon, like one, two, maybe three Pokemon are really fast and the rest are slow AF. And I think that's going to be a problem for me in this upcoming season. So last season it was very bulky. This season it's going to be a little bit slow. But with a lot of hard hitting Pokemon. So hopefully, you know, this team can actually secure some wins for us. Like, even though I'm a coach, that's not like a uh, matter if I win or lose. I want to try my hardest to actually pull some W's in the competition. And if I sound a little bit uh, sick uh, because of my nose, uh, I just played football or soccer for you guys with my little brother. So I'm a little bit tired, but that's okay. Mega Scissor, very hard hitting Mega here because I really wanted a Mega this time that... Uh, again, just like Lugia last season, I drafted Mega Sableye last season, which is a very bulky Pokemon. So this time we're going for a more hard-hitting Mega in the, in the sense of Mega Scissor. Also a Steel-type, always nice to have. So Mega Scissor, it's going to be hard to use it with, an, um, with it being not that fast. But I have some ideas in my head to make that work, so we're going to try our hardest. But I'm very happy that we get to try out Mega Scissor this com uh, this season, because I haven't used Mega Scissor at all. So using it right now, I can actually get a feeling of it's a if it's a Pokemon that really fits my playstyle. Now a Pokemon that I have used in the past, uh, not that much, but I have used it in the past, is Primarina. Now Primarina is a monster. Oh yeah, and the Mega Scissor is going to be nicknamed Beller after Finn Beller, the demon. Uh, because Mega Scissor can be a demon as well. So Primarina, nicknamed Flair, after of course the Queen Charlotte Flair. Uh, what a fairy typing, very hard hitting as well on the special side. Uh, again, not that fast, but at least some bulk to it on the special defensive side. And you can also run like... Uh, some more investment in HP and defense to make it a little bit bulky But you can also slip like a choice packs on it or a life orb on it and You can actually do some work with Primarina plus and that's something that I really like this season Everybody except for the Ubers can use sea crystals so it's like no sea captains we don't have any sea captains which kind of sucks sea captains kind of sucks so i'm really happy that the bbl is now going for like everybody can use sea crystals except for the ubermons which kind of makes sense because if you would slap a sea crystal on a uberman it's kind of uh, like a nuke button at that point so i really like the rule that everybody except for the ubers can use sea moves so maybe we can even put like a waterium sea or a ferium sea on primarina to nuke somebody with that because with that special attack Primarina with a Sea Crystal can actually wreck some havoc. So I'm very happy. I've used Primarina in the past. It's a very fun mon to use. It's a very offensive Pokemon in that regards that really fits my playstyle. So I'm happy that I can use a mon like Primarina now in the Wi-Fi League BBL. So next up, a Pokemon I never used, I think... Uh, I've used it maybe like on Pokemon Showdown a couple of times, but not in a draft league. And that's Reuniclus. Now Reuniclus, also very hard hitting on the special attacking side, but also a Pokemon with bulk to it uh, regarding his HP, which is 110. And Reuniclus is a very annoying mon to face off against. I know that in the past, I faced off against Reuniclus many times. It's an annoying Pokemon because of his Regenerator ability and his Magic Guard ability. I always, um, yeah, Magic Guard. I always uh, mix Magic Guard and Magic Bounce with each other up. But Reuniclus, of course, also the possibility to run Trick Room with the slow team that I have. So that can really help me out. Uh, again, I can maybe put a Sea Crystal on it to nuke somebody with that special attack of Reuniclus. I can run like Light Screen, Reflect. I can run like Psy Shock, Psy Psychic, depending on the defensive abilities of my opponents. Uh, I can run like Substitute Calm Mind. Um, Reuniclus is a Pokemon that's like 
a bit in the middle when it comes to offensive and defensive because I've seen some very defensive Reuniclus out there uh, in the league draft format. But, you know, it also has a variety in its move pool with the option to have like energy ball, uh, focus blast, yeah, focus blast, like flash cannon, like a lot of other attacking um, abilities on there. So, like signal beam as well. Uh, I can also run like Toxic, Thunder Wave. I have so much uh, to use with Reuniclus that I saw the opportunity to grab it. You know, the option to have a Trick Room user like Reuniclus on this whole team uh, is very useful uh, because of the team not being that fast. So, you know, there's a lot of things that I can do with um, Reuniclus here. I'm nicknaming Reuniclus uh, Shirai after Io Shirai because Io Shirai uh, is like... I mean, Reuniclus is like the Pokemon that went from baby to like a very adult. And if you watch Io Shirai in NXT, it's kind of the same evolution uh, she made through in that. And Io Shirai is probably one of my favorite female wrestlers at the moment. I really like Asuka and Kairi Sane, but Io Shirai... It's probably one of my favorites, especially right now. I'm a little bit behind on NXT, uh, but her her total persona and her character at the moment is just... So, Io Shirai, the Reuniclus, is here. And if you guys don't know about... Uh, go, if you guys don't know yet, yes, all of the Pokemon that I'm going to use in the BBL are going to have wrestler's nickname. So, just that you guys know, but... Reuniclus is here, can't wait to use it. It's a Pokemon that I really wanted to use in the League Draft format for quite a while, having face off against it uh, for a couple of seasons in a row. So now we have it, and hopefully I can make it work. But next up, you guys know. You guys know I had to draft him again. I know a lot of people are probably going to get sick of this. Like, why is he drafting this Mon in every league? I might change that up. I don't know in Gen 8 if he is going to be in it. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be going directly in Draft League uh, in Gen 8 because uh, if you guys don't know, next March, so next year, I'm going to um, go to Indonesia to meet my girlfriend. Uh, so I don't know if I'm, um, you know, that much involved into the Draft League uh, at the moment, but I have to use it again. I have to use it again. It's my boy. It's my boy, Torkoal. Of course, Torkoal is here. Having the drought here, uh, the sun up, which is going to help out a Pokemon that is going to maybe surprise a lot of you guys. But Torkoal is here, I have to use it again. I think I've spoken about Torkoal in a lot of leagues right now, so I'm not going to spend that much time. But it's the MVP for the Grunning and Noctiles last season, so I had to use it again. 13 kills in Season 2 of the BBL. It's here now, Torkoal, Champa the Torkoal is here and hopefully it's going to do a lot of damage again i know a lot of people now know what to expect from torkoal so we're going to try uh, to be a little bit more sneaky with torkoal and who knows you know we have the option to use sea crystals on any mon so maybe torkoal can actually surprise on that as well but let's go to a mon that i also used in the past and that is gudra now gudra is an amazing mon gudra it's just an amazing mon uh, to use in League Draft format. That special defensive, uh, 150 special defensive. Um, I'm actually going to look. I don't know. It's it's yeah, 150. I, I thought that was like the on level 100, but 150 special defensive. This mon is tick. Gudra is tick. That's why I'm calling it Bailey, because Bailey is also Tick. Uh, but not, not only that, 110 on the special attacking side, 100 on the physical attacking side. So it can also pack a punch. Um, you know, also 70 defensive. You know, it's, it's decent, not as great as a special defensive. Uh, but, you know, put an Assault Fest on this thing, it will tank hits. Put a Choice Packs on this thing, it will wreck lives. Uh, put like Life Orb on it, you have more coverage in the moves that you're choosing. Uh, Ability-wise, you have Sap Zipper if your opponent has like a Tapu Bulu or a Pokemon that really hits hard and is a Grass Typing, we can put Sap Zipper on it, we can put Gooey on it if my opponent wants to, you know, 
hit me and then I can lower their de uh, speed on that in that front. Gudra is such a versatile mon. It's such a mon that, you know, I've used it for the first time in the MPL, I think. And I really wanted to use it for quite a while. Now I've used it and now I'm just in love with this mon and I'm just going to draft it again because it's a good dragon type. It's, as I said before, it's thick. It can actually pack a punch. You can run physical, you can run special, you can run a mixed bear Gudra and it just it just does the damage very well. Uh, again, speed not that very well uh, with the rest of the team, but with the GUI ability or with Trick Room for Ridiculous, I think Gudra can actually uh, benefit more uh, from that and then hopefully get some few kills in this competition and maybe even try to, you know, completely destroy the opponent's team if they don't have an answer for Gudra or we get rid of the answers to Gudra. Now, next Pokemon. Never used it before. I hear good stories from it. It's going to be tricky to use it because it's four time weak. Uh, but we have Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar. I should not do that. I should not be cringy like that. But Rhydon is here. Uh, Rhydon. I hear a lot of good stories about Rhydon. Um, a very defensive. Uh, highly defensive Pokemon. But also 130 in attack. 1-5 in HP. Um... 40 in speed, again, not that fast, a lot of, uh, not not a fast team at <laughs> this time, but, you know, a hard-hitting Pokemon like Rhydon, uh, defensive-wise, we can put the Eviolite, in, Eviolite on it to make it even more defensive, uh, ability-wise, you know, there's not much that you can do with Rhydon ability-wise, um, maybe, like, Reckless, but I don't think, like, uh, Rhydon gets, like, a lot of moves that benefit from that. Uh, like, what was the move called? Rock Wrecker? No, it doesn't get that. Um, double Edge? It gets Double Edge. So I could, like, maybe run, like, uh, Rock Head Double Edge on, uh, on Rhydon if needed. But. You know, it gets the um, it gets all the uh, elemental punches, if I'm not mistaken. It gets like uh, thunder punch. It gets like I think ice punch, and I think fire punch. Yeah, so it gets all the elemental uh, punches. So it gets like uh, also like fire fang and ice fang. It gets like it get, it it has a lot of coverage moves. So in that regards, Rhydon is very uh, amazing. I've only never used Rhydon before, and I really needed a ground type on this team for if I need to bring one and I saw Rhydon and I was like okay it's a big risk with like uh, the four times weakness against like grass and against water which is like a typing you see a lot in like in league draft format but it also gives me another user to put up the stealth rocks and you know when it comes to hard hitting Pokemon Rhydon really hits hard but you know, if we uh, don't have uh, the right typing matchup, it's going to be tricky to use right on. But uh, Lesnar is here. Uh, yeah, there's nothing much to say about it. It's it's it, it, This is one of the Pokemon that I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to use it that often. And if I'm going to use it, I, you know, I... I'm, I don't know. I don't really know. I, I really hear good stories from Rhydon that it's a very good mon. Uh, but I'm a little bit iffy. I'm a little bit iffy still. This is like the only Pokemon that I'm kind of uh, am 50-50 on uh, when it comes to the whole draft. But maybe it can surprise me. I, I said the same thing about Torkoal and BBL Season 2 and look what that you know, got me. So Rhydon Brock Lesnar is here. Hopefully it can do a lot of work in this season. Next up, we have a familiar face from last season as well. Joe, Samoa Joe, the Hariyama. Having a fighting type in League Draft format, in my honest opinion, is also important. And Hariyama just does the job well. Hariyama is also a Pokemon that I really began to appreciate more thanks to League Draft format. Because again, it's a hard-hitting Pokemon, 120 on attack, uh, 144 in HP. And if you put like an Eevee, uh, Eevee Light, if you put like an Assault Fest on it, it can really pack a special attacking hit as well. Um, depending on the spread, you can even make it a little bit bulkier on the defensive side. Or you can even run like just all out attacking 
uh, Hariyama. I've used like Fling, Flame Orb, Guts Hariyama as well, which really is fun to use. So maybe I will bring that in the upcoming season. And of course, the abilities of Hariyama are great as well. Tick Fat, you know, hit, get some Fire Ice type attacks, no problem. Hariyama will eat them up. Guts, just mentioned before, to boost up that attack. And Sheer Force, if needed, if I want to bring like the hard, hardest hitting Hariyama uh, on the field, I can also run Sheer Force and maybe do some shenanigans with that as well. This is a Pokemon that really like i think hariyama is the pokemon that really uh describes my playstyle. it's very hard hitting it's really an aggressive pokemon uh if used right like fake out uh, as i said before flink flame orb guts it's really aggressive really aggressive offensive i really like that pokemon i have to thank aaron for it uh for convincing me to use it last season when i did some trades so i really like that we drafted hariyama again and hariyama is here and hopefully i can use it now more uh this whole season and actually you know get some kills with it or you know have some defensive value in my whole team and again speed 50 yes it's it's risky how i'm uh playing with speed right now at the moment because this team is not fast enough but i think with the pokemon that we have and with the tech that i can use i can actually make that work now next up we have substrika i really wanted an electric type in my team uh because electric types just i don't know they're fast my team was already slow as this so i need something fast so i brought mia yim the blasian beauty the Blation Baddie, Mia Yim, the Sepstrika is here. Uh, ability wise, Lightning Rod, Motor Drive, Sep Zipper, all good. Like, Sep Zipper is really, really good as well. Uh, because it gives me, like, if I want to bring Gudra and uh, Sepstrika at the same time, I can make one of them Sep Zipper and then I can use, like, another for them as another ability. Like, for instance, if I want to uh, take advantage of one of the electric types of my opponent. I can bring Lightning uh, Rod or Motor Drive instead of Sep Zipper, and then I can put Sep Zipper on Gudra, and then I have like options for that. And if I want to use Sep Zipper on Substrika, I can maybe bring Gooey on Gudra and take advantage of that in another, like if, if, if that suits my uh, opponent more, if that makes any sense. So, you know, ability wise, we have a lot of thing coverage. Uh, but again, like the important reason we have Substrike here is because of its speed, 116 speed. It's a fast Pokemon. Uh, you know, you can run a physical Substrike, but you can also run a special attacking Substrike. It gets a Fold Switch, which is also very useful. I think, yeah, it gets Fold Switch, of course. I don't think it gets U-turn. No, it doesn't get U-turn. So that's Fold Switch. So we have like an uh, option for that as well. So we have like something to pivot out of. Like, I can start off with Substriker in a match and a full switch out to start off my opponent if my opponent doesn't bring the fastest mons on the field. And, like, it gets... Uh... I'm getting a brain freeze right now. Um... <laughs> um... Oh, well. Wild Charge. It gets Wild Charge if I want to bring, like, a physical uh, Substriker. Uh... Thunder Wave, Thunderbolt, like the usual things, uh, Signal Beam, and I can even maybe, you know, try some other stuff out. If I want to play Haxi, I can bring Ditch Charge, uh, Hidden Power Ice, Hidden Power uh, Fire, maybe some other Hidden Power. Uh, Substrika is a Pokemon that I saw when I, you know, did my draft, and after I drafted Bailey the Gudra or like Rhydon, I was like, I, I really need something that's fast. I really need something that's fast. And preferably an electric type. I saw Substrika in the lower tiers and I was like, all right, if we take Substrika, then I have enough points left to take the last mon. Because I really wanted to draft this last mon because I made a promise with you guys on Twitter and I'm my man of my word. And this Substrika is here and I'm probably going to use it a lot because my team is not that fast and we need a Pokemon like Substrika. So it's going to be fun. Like I'm a coach that likes to experiment. And that likes to, you know, try stuff out. So Substrike as here and hopefully it can do a lot of work. But the last one! Yesterday, 
If you haven't seen it already, it's going to be a spoiler, but we drafted Macargo in the LBC, the last battle circuit, because Macargo got second in a Twitter poll that I did a month ago or so, where I said, like, I'm giving you guys the option of four mods that are considered bad, and the winner I will draft in the upcoming league. And I chose in that poll Surviper, Unvescent, Macargo, as just mentioned, which is now in the uh, LBC. And the first one, the one that got first, is Maractus. And I'm a man of my word. So again, Maractus is here. So what can I say about Maractus now? Maractus, special attack, 106. That's good. That's pretty good. Rest of the stats, not that much. But, ability-wise, we have Water Absorb, so we get some HP back, but we got Storm Drain, where it boosts the special attack. But the most important ability for Maractus is Chlorophyll. If Sunny Day is activated, this Pokemon speed is doubled. Well, we have Torkoal here, who puts up the speed. So if we put up the speed with Torkoal, Maractus gets faster. And if Maractus gets faster, Maractus will dance. And if Maractus is dancing, you better watch out because it will create chaos. I really, really am happy uh, that Maractus won the pull, by the way, because, you know, I think it's a fun Pokemon. I think Maractus is an actual fun Pokemon. I think Maractus... Yeah, okay, it's not. It, it doesn't have the best stats. Yeah, special attacking-wise and HP, mm, pretty good, but the rest, meh. Nah. So defensive-wise, we're gonna get some trouble with Maractus, obviously. I can't deny that, but Maractus, with the special attacking side and the Chlorophyll ability, or even Storm Drain ability, you don't know that, I think I can make Maractus work. Just like I can make Macargo work in the LBC, I will make... Maractus work and I will predict that Maractus will get like three kills I think Maractus will get like three kills this competition I'm sure of that so what does Maractus get so Maractus gets like uh, the ability like spiky shield which is very useful I can not type spiky shield which is very useful it gets spikes so it can set up the spikes, so we have like a spike set upper. Uh, I'm surprised Maractus doesn't get toxic spikes, by the way. If Maractus got toxic spikes, I think this Pokemon would have been drafted a lot more. Just because of the option to have uh, toxic spikes. So I'm very surprised that it didn't. Uh, but for the rest, it gets like... Um, it gets like Giga Drain, Grass Knot. Uh, it gets Hyper Voice, which is a very good uh, attacking move to use. For a Pokemon like Maractus. So it gets uh, Leech Seed. Which can also be very useful. It gets. Substitute. That can be very tricky to use. Uh, Synthesis of course. But it also gets like. A move like. Um, it's not here. Like was it Petal Dance? Yeah Petal Dance. Now Petal Dance of course is a move. Like you're stuck with it. And then you get confused. But you know. With the sun up, and if I manage to boost my uh, Maractus a little bit, Pedal Dance can actually hurt my opponent if Maractus outspeeds them. I can maybe, you know, bring Growth to boost up my attack and special attack in the sun by two. So that can also be very useful. I think I can actually make Maractus work. I think Maractus is going to be, uh, just like Mar uh, Macargo is the experiment of LBC, Maractus is going to be my experiment for the BBL Season 3. And that is the complete team. We have, uh, of course, Maractus is going to be nicknamed Liv Morgan because I love Liv Morgan. Liv Morgan is absolutely amazing. Uh, she really needs a push, by the way. But Liv Morgan and Maractus. So our team is as followed. We have Eveltal, Mega Scissor, Primarina, Reuniclus, Torkoal, Gudra, Raidon, Hariyama, Sepstrika, and Maractus. So, a very unique team in a Ubers League. Uh, a lot more offensive-wise. But, 
we're losing a lot of speed this season. So that's something I have to build around. That's something I have to really, you know, push my brain uh, to make that work. But it's going to be, you know, an exciting challenge to do that. And again, just as I mentioned in the LBC, I don't care about winning. I don't care about losing. I care about giving you guys entertaining battles with entertaining commentary. And I think with this theme, with this unique theme, we can actually make that work. So I'm very happy with that. And with the team that I drafted. Now I'm looking at the timer and we're already over the 30 minutes. So my apologies again for the long draft video. Um, but once I get talking, I can't stop. So I'm going to quit here. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Next week, we will have a Groningen Derby. Because the Groningen Noctiles in week 1 will face off against the FC Groningen Galates led by coach Lux it's going to be the first time that we are facing off against each other so it's Groningen versus Groningen I'm really excited for this match I hope you guys are as well uh, let me guys know if you want to see team builders I'm not really a fan of doing team builders but if you guys want to see team builders no never mind because if I have to do team builders I have to do that on Sunday and then Sunday we also have the LBC so um, I will put like my spreads of the teams that I use in the description below or in the comment section below so on poke face so i will maybe go into details before the actual match starts but i will make sure that like the team that i'm using is in the description below so i will make sure that i will have that in every match in the upcoming uh upcoming season but thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this draft analysis don't forget to hit the like button comment share this video with others slash subscribe button down below and hit the bell icon because then you get notified every time i upload a new video and that is sincerely appreciated but with that we're going to end off this draft analysis here i'm very excited for this league i hope you guys are as well but i'm going to end this video right off here thank you guys so much for watching and until next week